How's it going, everyone? Want to take you guys through a brand new free title that has just dropped on the PlayStation Store. Been out on PC for a little bit, but now available on the PlayStation Store. Uh, speaking of free... We have an upcoming JRPG getting a free demo right now. It's one of those JRPGs that's not getting a lot of attention, but I'm hoping it turns out well. More of an action JRPG, but we'll talk about that. And speaking of at least not getting promoted, it has gotten a little bit of attention, but Castlevania, the Dominus Collection, has come out. You guys, this is one of the best collections I think that has ever been put out in video games as far as the quality level of the games that have dropped. It's digitally available right now, but there will be a physical release done by Limited Run Games. I want to give you guys a heads up on that at the end of this video. So many of you guys, I mean, digital versus physical, been a big talking point among so many. We'll talk that at the end of this video. But right off the top, Undefeated is available free over on the PlayStation Store. This has been available going back to 2019 on PC. See and Steam become an invincible hero with unlimited superpowers on Undefeated. The hero game that buzzed on Twitter is finally complete and available. Ever dreamed of becoming a superhero that protects the city with your superpowers? Undefeated makes that dream come true. Solve cases that happen in the city, fly over the city to patrol the streets and look out for crimes or troubles. Use your unlimited powers to keep the city safe. Challenge quests, there are two challenge quests, the destruction challenge and the flight challenge. Whether your goal is to destroy all objects in the destruction challenge or soar through all hopes in the flight challenge reach your goal within the time limit and heighten your powers to become a more undefeatable hero boss battle the battle with the boss is dynamic high speed mid-air battle protect the city from boss attacks and counter strike to defeat them this game was a free student project the game was planned and created by the three students from vanton game academy in osaka vanton game academy is one of japan Pans, a prestigious schools focusing in the games industry every year. It creates professionals in not only the games industry, but also anime, voice acting, and more. And now their title is available on the PlayStation Store. I also believe they are doing a sequel to this game, uh, and that is noted to be on PlayStation uh, as well. Undefeated Genesis is going to be the title that is the follow-up title, the upcoming sequel, and that is scheduled to be released in 2026. So, well, a ways away, but right now, Undefeated is available free over on the PlayStation Store, so go check that out if you want to play it on PC, available free on Steam as well. Alright, next up, Raynatus has gotten a free demo. Now, this is coming from NIS America. Hasn't been getting a lot of attention, but really like the aesthetic presentation. A little bit different than a lot of the super anime and Japanese RPGs that have come out. Like, the art style is a little bit distinct as far as that's concerned. I like it. No, it's not going to be for everyone. But fantasy meets reality in Shibuya, Tokyo, where magic is something to be feared. In this action RPG, a young wizard seeks freedom through strength, and an officer seeks to control magic and restore order when their paths cross. A darkness that will transform the world has descended. And the demo is live right now. Download the Renatus demo and experience the opening chapters of this stylish, spellbinding RPG. Renatus is an action RPG set in the painstakingly recreated streets of Shibuya, Tokyo, in a world where fantasy meets reality. Regarding the demo, in the full version, select demo version bonus from the screen and you can choose your demo save data. Bonuses will be awarded on the demo's completion. Bonuses cannot be obtained from an incomplete demo data and the progress from the demo does not carry over, so keep that in mind as well. The full game is out September 27th. Some other details, a full-blown action-packed magical RPG in which two people with different perspectives fight for their ideals in a realistic recreation of modern-day Shibuya Tokyo. The world is 2024. The Criminal Magic Response Act has issued an order barring citizens from going out at night. However, it was quickly disregarded and few enforce it. Marin Kirizumi is a wizard who grew up oppressed by others due to his magic. If you become the strongest, you'll be set free. Following those words left by his father, he arrives in Shibuya at night. When Sari Nishijima discovered her magic, she decided to use her powers to maintain order. She follows her own sense of justice to protect Shibuya from forces with dangerous ideals and illegal drugs that turn people into monsters. Marin, who six liberation. Asari, who treats the op oppression of wizards as justice, the story of Renatus, begins when the two meet in Shibuya, a place where cultures and ideas mix. By properly utilizing suppressed and liberated states, anyone can easily execute show-stopping actions in uh, suppress mode. You are unable to attack, but you can avoid any enemy attacks with the press of a single button. And then you have liberated mode. You can go all out with your attacks, but you'll be unable to defend. So timing is essential. Exploration, the real city of Shibuya, has been painstakingly recreated in Renatus. Rock 
around the city to find everything from famous landmarks such as Shibuya 109 to hole-in-the-wall joints that only the savviest will know. While uh, in suppressed mode, your identity and actions are concealed. In liberated mode, you can use your magic to explore and move quickly. Pockets of Shibuya contain fog gateways to an alternate magical world called Another that only wizards can access. These clandestine realm is managed by the anti-government organization known as the Guild. Those who cannot wield magic are unable to enter, and monsters run rampant due to the magic in the air. The expanse of Another contains not only forests and wilderness, but things resembling factories and museums. And lastly, when Marans and Sari's paths cross, a darkness that will transform the world descends. I don't imagine that this is going to be a JRPG that gets a ton of attention. It's coming out just a few weeks before Metaphor, which I think that's going to have a lot of attention, but this is more of an action game, so just keep that in mind. I really like the look of it, and uh, try out the demo for yourself. The game is officially out on September the 27th. All right, lastly, Castlevania The Dominus Collection got a release out of nowhere. No promotion for Konami, just a stealth release, and this collection bundles the three Castlevania games released on the Nintendo DS. That includes Castlevania... Uh, Dawn of Sorrow, Portrait of Ruin, as well as Order of Ecclesia. All three games were absolutely awesome, however, were relegated to only being available on the Nintendo DS until now with the release of the Castlevania Dominus Collection. The Dominus Collection is already available on the PlayStation Store and other digital storefronts for $24.99. However, I know a lot of you guys have your opinions about digital gaming these days. There will be a limited run physical release of Castlevania The Dominus Collection for $34.99. I already think that $24.99 price tag is awesome. I really believe this is a collection they could have easily priced at $40 and people would have checked it out. These games individually go for a pretty penny on the Nintendo DS, and yes, porting games from the Nintendo DS to other platforms always a little bit jarring because you do have the dual screen to account for, but they do a fairly good job with the Dominus Collection, and the games are at such a high quality level that... They could have easily gotten away with a $40 price tag, but it's only $25 digital only. However, limited runs physical release will be $34.99, so you will be able to check that out. They will also release a classic edition, which includes a physical copy of the game with the Dawn of Sorrows uh, cover, classic silver box with metallic ink, 12x16 double-sided poster, and a one-disc CD soundtrack. And then if you want to go all in, there will be an ultimate edition, which I just think looks awesome. A physical, uh, physical copy of Castlevania Dominus Collection includes alternate cover sheet, Shadow box lights up and plays music, light up Grand Cross Lamp, classic silver box with metallic ink, 12 by 16 double-sided poster, hand-drawn maps by Jeremy Parrish, five-disc complete soundtrack, Jonathan and Charlotte sound by Keychain, game chase, a uh, game case keychain, set of four main character standees, set of four Dominus Glyph decals, retro Castlevania game style, steel book, and art prints. All of that will be available for a pretty hefty price of $200, so it will be a sizable, sizable pickup, but hey, if you want to check it out, that is available, and if nothing else, the standard edition will be $34.99. They've got it on Switch, uh, PlayStation 5, and Xbox, so check it out over there, but that is going to do it for me. Again, Undefeated, available free over on the PlayStation Store. Ray Natus has a free demo available, and Castlevania Dominus Collection. If you don't want to check it out digitally, there is a physical version that will be made by Limited Run. It's not going to ship until February of next year, so keep that in mind. You got a ways to wait, but thought I would make mention of that. That's going to do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Sound off there. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.